try the pasta. So I will tell you the ingredients now. So we need pasta, but you can take also fettuccine pasta because this is the main bit. You can take fettuccine pasta, but it's okay. We can also take this penny pasta. This is the shape of it. Yeah. Now we need give it this means. coriander or parsley. Give it, give it, give it. If you don't have parsley, you can use coriander. Or chicken. Coriander, chicken or and garlic. Yeah. But the cheese. Yeah. You can also use parmesan. And yogurt. No, that's not yogurt. That is cream. Big. Cream. Cream. And you can use Parmesan cheese also, but I'm using cheddar cheese. And this is cream. You can use one cup of and this salt and pepper. Yeah. So now let's start cooking it. Now, guys, I'm just gonna take a pan and on the fire stove, and then I'll put everything. First, you have to put the butter. You have to put butter. Two or three tablespoons. Then you have to let it melt. Melt. All over the stove. Now you'll put some garlic. Mix in the butter, a little bit. And then you have to put some. Chicken. I cooked the chicken already in soy sauce and garlic and oil. I'm gonna add that right in. And mix it up. Then I have to put some salt and pepper. Right in. Mix the salt and pepper right in the formula. Then I have to put some cream. Cream, you have to put one cup. And mix it up also. Right in the chicken and everything that you put. It's getting a different color. Well, and turn off the stove and some put some one pinch of coral, uh, some coriander or parsley. At empty end, you have to put some yummy, delicious cheese. My favorite. Put the cheese right in all of it. Now have to stir it all together. So I mix it well. Now I have to put the penny pasta or frappuccino. You can put. Okay. Now mix it right in everything. So I dish it out the uh, fried pasta and sure try this. We are gonna eat this right now. It looks so yummy and tasty. You should also try it at home and surely try this. And eat it. So bye! Subscribe, like our video, and rise above.